I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about the ratio, root, and comparison tests. In problem number 29, I'd like to use the limit comparison test to determine whether the series sum k going from 1 to infinity of k squared minus 1 over k cubed plus 4 converges or diverges. All right. When I'm using a limit comparison test, what I want to do is I want to look at the series and I want to say, is this sort of like some other series I know? And if I think so, that would be the choice of what I should compare this to. Now, if this negative one were not there, I see the highest power here is a k squared. So let's just imagine that it was just a k squared. And on the bottom I have k cubed plus 4, but the 4 really isn't doing that much when k gets big. So let's say that the 4 weren't there either. Then I just have k squared over k cubed. And k squared over k cubed is just 1 over k. So what I'm imagining is that this series is kind of like the sum of 1 over k. All right, but we need to actually verify that using a limit comparison test. And how the limit comparison test works is the following. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up by taking the limit as k goes to infinity of, what I do is I put the sequence of the series that I don't know about, this guy, I put this on the top. So I'm going to take this k squared minus 1 over k cubed plus 4 and write it on top. So this is k squared minus 1 over k cubed plus 4 and I put it on top of the fraction. On the bottom of the per fraction I put the sequence of the series that I do know something about that I think that this guy might kind of act like. And the one that I said that this guy might kind of act like is 1 over k. So on the bottom I'm going to put 1 over k. Now let's take this limit and see what we get. So I take the limit, uh, let's flip and multiply, so I get the limit as k goes to infinity of k squared minus 1 over k cubed plus 4 times, when I flip and multiply, the k is on top and a 1 is on the bottom. Uh, if I were to multiply this through real quick, I get the limit as k goes to infinity of k cubed minus 1 over k cubed plus 4. But now I'm just taking the limit as k goes to infinity of a rational function where the highest power of k on top and bottom is the same. So I can just take the coefficients out in front of the k cubes and I get 1 over 1, which is 1. Now, for the limit comparison test, if I get some number that's bigger than 0, then the sum of what was on the bottom and the sum of what was on the top, they do the same thing. So now I know whatever it is that the sum of the 1 over k's does, that's what the sum of the k squared minus 1 over k cubed plus 4 does. So since I do know something about the sum k going from 1 to infinity of the 1 over k's, what do we know? This is what we call the harmonic series, and the harmonic series diverges. So since this series diverges, uh, we know that the sum, k going from 1 to infinity, of k squared minus 1 over k cubed plus 4 diverges by the limit comparison test. And I'll just abbreviate limit comparison test to LCT. So, uh, since we know that this guy diverges and the limit comparison test gave me a number 1 that was bigger than 0, then I can say that since I know this guy diverges, that means we know that this series also diverges by our limit comparison test and we are done.